um, but I had lunch with Richard Holbrook last spring, uh, and we were talking on background, and he said at one stage, if you told me I could kill Osama bin Laden or Mullah Omar tomorrow, I think I'd choose Mullah Omar. And the reason was because, in, at least in his shop's analysis, there was a, a group of senior quite assured types who were ready, you know, for time of life reasons, for uh, and reasons of personal ambition, for reasons of being tired of being in um, Pakistan under ISI's uh, course of control, not able to travel, not able to get passports without permission, all of the things that they were looking for, um, you know, who who wanted maybe to move, but who, who were to some extent imprisoned by this strange relationship with Mullah Omar's leadership. Uh, I don't know. I, I, there's a lot of, there's, there's such divergent views um, among Western participants in the effort to develop the reconciliation track, not just within the U.S. government where there are sharply divergent views, uh, analytical views, but also, you know, among NATO governments, different quarters. People look at the same set of facts and they just seem to come to diametrically opposed conclusions.